mentioned how much I love cutting grass. So this is the key to cut the grass. This is the key for the lawnmower. The last time I did a video where I said I love cutting grass and it was the first cut of the season. Did you know that I used the wrong key? I used the key for our side by side to start the lawnmower and it worked. So, but this is the correct key. So let's do it the right way now. change on my nails this nice hot pink color isn't that pretty so now we got to go to the store because i gotta get stuff to make dinner and some other stuff for planting because we're gonna do some planting today will would like breakfast for dinner so that's what i just went to the store to get and for some reason can somebody explain this to me how how you run out of toiletries at the same time like as soon as the toilet paper you are you're on your last roll of toilet paper you're on your last roll of paper towel you're on your last little bit of dishwasher stuff and soap and <laughs> laundry detergent like how do they make it so that you use up everything at the same damn time we got these starter pots seed starter pots there's four containers in here. I think, yeah, so four. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never grown food before. I'm really excited to grow food. We have a whole bunch of food that grows on the property, but it just grows naturally. So this year, I think it's, I'm like a month too early to plant this, but I've got pumpkins. I wanna grow pumpkins. I tried last year, I failed. I planted them too late. We've got tomatoes, because we love tomatoes, um, peppers, and cantaloupe. I call it rock melon because it looks like a rock, and I'm pretty sure that's what they call it in Australia. And then we've got these like regular wildflowers here. So I'm going to try, attempt to plant some of these. I don't know what to do. I texted my brother and I said, hey, I need your advice, um, call me when you can. I said it's not urgent, it's about plants. So, it's not urgent, but I just, I don't know, like, germinating, do I put them in here and plant the seeds, or am I supposed to put the seeds in water first and wait for them to sprout? Like, I'm just not really that sure what to do yet. Okay, so my brother messaged me back. Whoa, sorry guys. And he told me that I should just plant everything right now because I don't really have to germinate. And from what he was saying, it sounds like I should have started this a long time ago. So, this is going to be cantaloupe right here. I love rock melon, cantaloupe, rock melon. Do you call it cantaloupe or do you call it rock melon? Will, when we first started dating, he thought I was a Looney Tune for calling it Rock Melon. He's like, who calls it Rock Melon? I do. So, we're just going to put a seed in each one. A seed in each one. And we're going to hope that something grows from it. 
Or should I put two seeds in each one? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put two seeds in each. Because it might not grow. The thing says I can put two to three seeds in each little pod here. I guess that's what these are called. I don't know. My brother was like, you can start tomato and pepper plants in January indoors. I didn't know that. Uh, but my my aunt that lives in Illinois, her and her husband, they grow. They were growing pepper, little tomatoes in their house, in their bedroom actually, all winter. Uh, I think it was tomatoes and radishes. And I thought that was pretty cool that they were doing that. So I, okay, I put a couple of seeds in each one. I've got two more. Should I just save them? I'll save them. You can have these for later. All right. So we've got this here. This is our cantaloupe slash rock melon. You like that name, don't you, rock melon? Or is it annoying? I don't know. All right. Grow some juicy melons. Okay, so this is, you guys have probably seen this before because it's in the barber shop area. This is my plant area. I have several areas like this in the house, but these are spider plants and these are the little babies that grow off of it. You can see it's got little roots coming. So this is like the mommy plant. This is another mommy plant. And then this is one of the babies. And spider plants are really good to have indoors because they help to detoxify the air. All right, enough about that. So this is going to be the rock melon cantaloupe, whatever. And I did put it inside here. Then we're going to go. Hi, Figaro. Over here is some more of my other plants, but I didn't do any of this today. Figaro really wants her special treats right now. I got plants upstairs and in the bathroom. I got them everywhere. So out here, I've got wildflowers growing in these pots here. Well, not growing, well, I guess, I hope so. That I planted them in these pots. This is something that one of my clients gave me to grow. So that's in there. I can't pronounce it. I don't know what it is. This is something that I planted last year and it's popping up again, so I'm really excited. These are where my calla lilies or canna lilies. I'm not really sure what they're called, but these are starting to pop up. And I also planted a few wildflowers in there. So yeah, there's, shoot, what did I put in here? Wildflowers, yeah. Remember, Jessica, remember. All right, clary sage growing in there, which I repotted it and I totally, we'll see what happens. I don't know, that might be, they might be resting in peace right now. Who knows? So I've got these outside. Let me get out of the sun here. Oh shoot, what is this one? You know, you know. It's either peppers or tomatoes. This one over here is peppers. Oh, this has got to be tomatoes. Tomatoes for sure, this one. And that one's peppers. This is mint. I had this inside, but now I don't have any room for it, so I brought it outside. This is tomato. So I put a couple seeds in there for the tomato plant. My brother said to, here, I'm going to switch this right now. Hi. My brother told me one seed per plot, per pot, because one seed equals a plant. So, duh. I mean, that's kind of basic knowledge. But at the same time, I'm like, can I have two seeds in one pot? But it'll be, like, too overwhelming. Shoo. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I am not a grower of food sorts, so I hope this works out. I'm really excited. I want to do a pumpkin patch, but I'm going to wait until next month to plant the pumpkin patch. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. Where do you guys... Should I do the pumpkin patch? Hmm. Maybe right behind there? Because that does get a lot of sun, especially in the summertime. So I could do pumpkins there and maybe... Hmm... And the cantaloupe, sorry for the wind. Cantaloupe, I don't know where I'm gonna do the cantaloupe. Ooh, what are these flowers? Hold on. 
These are pretty. You see the purple? I like those. I like those a lot. And then we've got, that's our pear tree right there. And right now they have little white flowers on it. So that's super pretty. Super cool. So yeah, we are slowly starting to plant everything. Last year we bought a lot of plants from the store and then came home and replanted them here. We have to definitely do something with this mulch because it is not looking the best. We've got weeds growing up through it and everything. So yeah, we'll see. Stay tuned for all of that. But I'm excited. I really enjoy spending time in the yard and making it look pretty. We have a lot of cleaning up to do, but I did want to get some things started because it's that time of year, um, especially if you're going to be starting from seeds to get those seeds going. So I'm excited. All right, I guess that's it for today's video. Uh, hit the like button, the notification bell, blah, blah, blah. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> you don't even have to subscribe if you don't want to. I'm it's your choice. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna get dinner started. Breakfast for dinner. Some good shit.